hello uh, in this video we will solve one problem on driven rc network okay so in this circuit we have to find vc of t expression for vc of t so we have one voltage source 10 u of t that is a step function so when t is less than 0 this voltage source will have value 0 volt after t equal to 0 it will have value of 10 volt and 1 milli 1 milliampere current source and one capacitor 5 microfarad and you have resistors here okay so first we will write for t less than 0 so for that this will be a short circuit and you have 25k and one capacitor and 1 milliampere current source and I will write together 20 and 80k anyhow they are in series I will write together that 100k 100k okay so this is t less than 0 we see and for t greater than 0 uh, this 10 volt come into picture now 10 volt and you have 25k resistor capacitor current source and 100k hundred k and this capacitance is 5 microfarad okay so this is t greater than 0 so we have drawn two circuits now now step 1 we will go for step 1 in that we have to find vc of 0 minus we have to find so the first circuit vc of 0 minus so just before the t equal to 0 what is the open circuit voltage across capacitor so you can see here this one voltage across this is nothing but we have two resistor 25k and 100k they are in parallel and a current of 1 milliampere passing through those resistors so if you can find voltage across resistors then that is nothing but the voltage across the capacitor okay so since 25k and 100k are parallel i can directly write like this this is 1 milliampere that is the current and resistor will be 25k parallel 100k so that if you calculate it will be 20 volt and vc of 0 plus is equal to vc of 0 minus that is nothing but 20 volt okay that is the step one step 2 equivalent resistance we have to find for t greater than 0 so for this circuit uh, what is the equivalent how to find the equivalent circuit equivalent circuit for that you have to deactivate current source and voltage source how to deactivate the current source you make it open or i equal to 0 then you will deactivate that current source how to deactivate voltage source you make voltage equal to 0 or short circuit it so this will be 25k and you have capacitor and 1 milliampere won't come into picture and 100k so now r equivalent is the capac uh, resistance seen by this capacitor so what is that R equivalent? R equivalent is 25k parallel 100k. So that will be 20k. 20 kilo ohm. Okay. And tau will be R equivalent 
capacitance capacitance 20 K into 5 micro so that is 0.1 or 100 millisecond 0.1 second okay that is step 2 step 3 we have to find VCF because finally VC will have two components force response and natural response force response we have to calculate that is VCF so if you see this circuit VCF what is the voltage across capacitor at t equal to infinity what is the final voltage across capacitor now this voltage across capacitor will be due to a 10 volt battery and due to this 1 milliampere or in other words if I tell if I can find voltage across this 100 K ohm resistor that is in parallel with 5, 5 microfarad so we can find the open circuit voltage so open circuit voltage or VCF is nothing but the voltage across 100 K the voltage across 100 K how to calculate it is a current passing through this 100 K ohm into 100 K what a current is due to what current is due to two factor here one is due to 1 milliampere current source another current is due to the 10 volt battery so you have to use superposition theorem and separately find what is the current passing through this 100 kilo ohm due to 10 volt what is the current passing through this 100 k due to 1 milliampere then you add then you will get the current passing through this you multiply by resistor that you will get vc of f okay so vc of f i will call this uh, current as this current as i1 i1 i will call okay so this vcf is nothing but i1 into 100k but this i1 is due to two factors one is i1 of 1 milliampere another one is i1 of 10 volt battery okay okay so what is this 1 milliampere due to 1 milliampere that time you should not consider 10 volt 10 volt will be deactivated what do you mean by deactivated it should be short circuited so then what happens here only 1 milliampere current is there this 10 volt battery not there short circuit 25 k ohm resistor here 100 k ohm resistor here and you have to find open circuit voltage so capacitor is open final value final value voltage across the capacitor we are calculating so that is nothing but current flowing through this resistor due to the 1 milliampere so for that you have to use a current divider formula two branches you have one branch 25 kilo ohm another branch 100 kilo ohm you have so finally current passing through this 100 k ohm is nothing but a current divider formula how to find that the current is 1 milliampere into resistance of other branch that is 25k divided by total resistance that is 25k plus 100k that will give current passing through 100k so we will write that it is nothing but 1 milliampere current but current divider rule we have to apply resistance of other branch 25 kilo and total resistance 100 plus 100k plus 25k so that is about the 1 milli current due to 1 milliampere now current due to 10 volt battery current flowing through 100 kilo ohm due to 10 volt battery for that you have to deactivate other current source other source that is the current source you deactivate this then what is the current flowing through this this have 10 volt 25k in series with 100k so current flowing through due to 10 volt is nothing but 10 volt divided by 125k okay so 1 milliampere current is source is deactivated so it is nothing but 10 volt battery only acting and total resistance of the loop is 25k plus 100k so if you calculate this one you will get 0.28 milliampere okay just calculate that that will, will get 0.28 milliampere okay so finally i want vcf that we already defined it it is i1 into 100k so that will be 0.28 milli 
into 100 K that is nothing but 28 volt. So next one is step 4. So step 4 is the final response we will write that is Vc of t is nothing but Vcn plus Vcf. Vcn we know that it is a into e power minus t by tau, tau we calculated it is 0.1 plus Vcf is 28. We know that the Vc of 0 plus that also initially step 1 we calculated that that is 20 volt and you substitute t equal to 0 in this equation you will get a into e power 0 plus 28. So that means a equal to minus 8. So in this equation Vc of t natural that is minus 8 into e power minus t by 0.1 this is minus sign plus 28 okay so this is the solution